All right, well, here in Tennessee, we have some of the most beautiful state parks in the country. And recently, Tennessee State Parks announced the availability of these brand new all terrain wheelchairs at 12 of the parks, enhancing accessibility for visitors with disabilities. News 2's Davis Nolan takes us to one state park to show us this brand new amenity. Well, these new all terrain wheelchairs are really a blessing for people with disabilities. This is my 95 year old mother in law visiting from Japan, and I always wanted to show her one of our beautiful Tennessee waterfalls. So here we are at Cummins Falls State Park. People with mobility and impairments uh, have not been able to see these sites. It's, uh, we're very excited about getting these uh, individuals down here where they can view uh, like your mother-in-law today. So uh, very excited about that and it's very important to Tennessee State Parks to allow access to those with uh, mobility impairments. These new all-terrain wheelchairs are electric powered and are simple to operate using a joystick. There are two sets of controls so either the rider themselves can operate it or someone walking behind the wheelchair can guide it. And it's ready to go off-road. The one we have here at Cummins Falls have uh, all-terrain wheels. Uh, the wheelchairs are self-propelled or caregiver propelled, and this allows these uh, wheelchairs to go off, uh, off pavement or off concrete and uh, uh, really access uh, other trails that we have here at Tennessee State Parks. There are 12 parks across the state of Tennessee that now have at least one of these wheelchairs. In Middle Tennessee, besides here at Cummins Falls State Park, they're also available at Long Hunter, Natchez Trace, Radnor Lake, Tim's Ford, and Henry Horton State Parks. The access to them is free, and although you can request one on arrival, it's suggested that you reserve one in advance. To learn how and to see the full list of parks statewide, go to this story on our website, WKRN.com, and we'll link you to the information. Reporting from Cummins Falls State Park, I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. Davis got the whole family involved there. Love that.